All right, Brandon will do a spring tour, starting with the Shamana Madonna Lions coach. I mean, let's go back. You get the job right before the season, however many years that was ago. Yeah. <laughs> now, fast forward to 2022, the program is, is rolling downhill. Now, I know you always have aspirations to work hard and you're never going to take any days off, but it has to be some level of satisfaction with four state championships and, and all of the things. You've been to six and all of the things that go along with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it, it's going to sound crazy, man, but I don't know. We try to do it the right way. That's never kind of the goal, like, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, state championships are state championships, you know? What, what's, what's after December? What are we talking about? We're talking about right. kids and, you know, where they go to school at and if they go into college, and that's the bigger picture. Um, so I, I guess because we try to do everything the right way, then all that stuff kind of falls in place, man. God takes care of it from there, you know? So. Right. And you, you saw that today with some of the big-time players that have come out of this program, the guys at the U, that – TC, you know, Keontra, just rolling around in here, just motivating the future. You know what I mean? How big is that? Oh, that's big. Just because they can relate with those guys. They just recently saw them here. They seen them on TV the other day after you, and then for them guys to come back and working in the weight room to see those guys like Marquise Brown. He's been here all week working out in the weight room. So those kids get a chance to see that. Hollywood round just got traded in. Mm -hmm. Even going back to those days, there's a lot of pedigree here, but what's the next step? Because I guess you've been a very dominant state program nationally. You know, you don't kind of get the pull. I don't know if that's even a goal, but I mean, you definitely have the chops, particularly last year. Right. Wins at Buford, right. you know, a state championship, some other big wins can't remember the schedule off the top of my head, but marquee recruits, Zaquan Patterson, Jeremiah Smith, C.J. Bailey, you know, Davion Gauss, the list goes on and on and on. Mm -hmm. Is there a step to take? Is it le Are there levels? Do you have any more tricks in the bag, so to speak? Because, hey, and let me say this. I see you, the coaching talent has taken off like a rocket around here. Is that the next Making somebody, something out of nothing. I mean, my coaches and my kids will tell you every year after the state championship, after a win, a loss, whatever the case may be, is how do we get better? Every year, how do you get better? Don't come back year to year and do the same thing because other people are getting better. But how do you get better? And that's always the goal. So this year, man, we just want to get better across the board and get better uh, with coaches as well, you know. Um, you know, they think that we're a smaller school or whatever. We ain't doing this and that. You know, we want to show everybody we're doing it, you know, the, the, the same way as everybody, all the big boys, you know, so. You know, it's been a pleasure to watch it. Uh, we look forward to seeing it. What can we expect in 22 from Shaman Amadon? Oh, man, well, first of all, we're a program that, you know, we thrive on excellence, you know, in the classroom and on the field. And, um we don't chump anybody off, but at the end of the day, we, we, we ain't scared to play anybody either. Uh, so at the end of the day, what you can expect is a team that's going to be well coached, uh, win or lose. Like, that, that's my forte. You know, I, I don't care who we play. Uh, win or lose, we're going to learn from it and get better from and it. You've kind of always been like that. You've right. always been sort of you never really care. You weren't so concerned with losses to good teams, going way, way back to challenging Back then, Cardinal Gibbons out of the gate in trash, those type of things, you know. But I'm hearing you having difficulty getting people to sign up now. You kind of yeah, you, you kind of yeah, uh, David that nobody, none of these Goliaths want to see, and you're not even that much of a David, really. It's, it's, it's and that's crazy, isn't it? Like I don't know. My thing is, that, you know, who I commend, I commend uh, American Heritage. Like since I've been here, no matter who's the coach, I call Mike, I call Pat. Those guys, hey, coach, let's play every year, you know, because at the end of the day, we're South Florida, we're the best of the best. Whoever in the backyard, we shouldn't have to go across the country right. when you got nationally ranked teams here, you know. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, man. I, I commend uh, American Harris because they're they going to they gonna play every year. Um, and that's one of the teams, like, six years they're they going to play, you know. So uh, this year we got Northwestern on the, on, on the schedule. Um, we got a team out of D.C. that's nationally ranked. Uh, St. John's, and uh, 
I'm, I'm having trouble with week six right now, so we'll see. We'll see if any, any takers or whatever the case may be. It is what it is, man. I'm, I, my thing is, my thing is, win or lose, you get better from it. Even if you're a smaller program, blah, blah, sure. guess what? You help your team, your program by playing a team like us, just you know, to give your your kids a, a, a college look or whatever the case may be. You know, I'm not one of them coaches that's trying to beat somebody 90 to zip. I, that, that's not my goal. My goal is, hey, you know, give my kids an opportunity and you know, not trying to rub it in.